Hey everyone, today, we're tackling a game-changing advancement in quantum computing. A team of researchers from Chalmers University of Technology has developed a new system that could finally overcome one of the biggest hurdles in quantum computing, the trade-off between error resistance and operational speed. What does this mean? It could bring us closer to building robust and reliable quantum computers. Let's dive in. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. Quantum Computing's Big Dilemma Quantum computers have enormous potential. Unlike classical computers that use bits, either 1 or 0, qubits in quantum computers can be both 1 and 0 simultaneously, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. This allows quantum computers to perform massive parallel calculations at once. But there's a big catch, quantum systems are extremely sensitive. Errors caused by electromagnetic interference or magnetic fluctuations can knock these qubits out of their delicate quantum states. So far, researchers have faced a tricky trade-off. Systems that are better at resisting errors tend to perform slower while those capable of faster and more complex operations are more prone to errors. So how do we fix this? The answer might lie in this new system developed by Chalmers University. Chapter 2. The New System, Overcoming Limitations This breakthrough, led by Simone Gasparinetti and his team, introduces a system that allows quantum computers to perform extremely complex operations at unprecedented speeds, without sacrificing fault tolerance. What makes this different? Well, instead of relying on the traditional two quantum state model used in qubits, they've switched things up by using continuous variable quantum computing. Imagine a qubit as a light switch, it's either on or off, or both at the same time in superposition. Now picture this new system as a rainbow, where instead of two states, it has access to a whole spectrum of possibilities. This method uses harmonic oscillators, which can encode information in a much larger number of quantum states, making the system far more resistant to errors and noise. Chapter 3. How they did it beating the Kerr effect. The Chalmers team didn't stop at just making the system error resistant. They also found a way to perform complex gate operations at high speed, something that's been a challenge for quantum computing. Here's where the Kerr effect comes in. The Kerr effect is a phenomenon that scrambles the quantum states of harmonic oscillators, making them harder to control. But the researchers found a way around it. By embedding a control system directly inside the oscillator, they were able to manipulate the quantum states without scrambling them. This allowed for precise control and fast operations, preserving the system's error resistant qualities. Chapter 4 What does this mean for the future of quantum computing? So, why is this such a big deal? This new system is paving the way for more durable, error-resistant quantum computers that can also handle complex operations quickly. We're talking about quantum computers that can perform calculations much longer than they can today, without crashing due to errors or noise. This advancement could accelerate the development of quantum technologies in everything from cryptography to materials science to AI. We're one step closer to harnessing the full power of quantum computing, thanks to these innovative breakthroughs from Chalmers University. The trade-off between speed and error resistance might soon be a thing of the past. Source. Chalmers University of Technology. If you're excited about where quantum computing is headed, make sure to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Trend Storm for more updates on cutting-edge science and tech.
Thanks for watching, and see you next time.